good day. Um, my name is Yoja Sonte Caleb. And I'm a student, a university student from the Federal University of Technology, Mina, Niger State. And I'm uh, currently in my fourth year, 400 level. And I'm studying mathematics, industrial mathematics. All right, so um, in this video, I'm going to teach you things you should know before getting into the university. I'm going to share some secrets with you. I'm going to share my experience with you on the things you should know before getting into the university. So, because the, this video is very important because a lot of people have come to the university and have left the university with little or nothing to, to write home about. So this video is in a way to prevent this from happening. All right, so the first thing I've captured here is the campus lifestyle. The campus lifestyle is one of the major things that every student or intending university student should watch, should know, also watch out for. And of course, if you are watching this video right now, it means you, are, uh, you have gotten admission into a college or university, or you are intending, you are intending to be a student of a university someday. So con uh, congratulations for that. All right, the first thing is the campus lifestyle. So what about it? What about campus lifestyle? Why is this so important? Why is it necessary? Why should I talk about this? Why should I look out for this? No campus lifestyle, unlike the secondary school, the high school you have come from, you are told to do everything orderly at specific hours. If you have been to a boarding school, you are told to in the dormitory when to sleep, you are told when to wake up, you are told when to go to school, you are told when to, you are told when to eat. But when you come to the university, unlike the high school is different you choose to do what you want to do you understand there is no parent here to tell you not to do this not to do that you do it at will you know you are you are of age to 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 ride your own boat you know you you are the captain of your life you drive it anywhere you want you wake up at any time you want you know you you wear such kind of dress that that you like because there's no parent to tell you what to wear. No, you just move around, you are free to choose on your own. So, in the campus, that is what it is, you know, free will. In the campus, you have free will, you do what you want to do at any time you want to do it. So, campus lifestyle should also be what you watch out for, because this can be a hindrance to you. This can affect you, especially if you have never been away from your parents, if you have never been away from home. You know, coming to a new environment where you have the will to do anything you want to do, right? It may, you may abuse this ad advantage. You may abuse this advantage. So please watch out for this. Don't just uh, take advantage of this and, and misbehave. You know the boundaries. Keep boundaries for yourself. Know that you are not to cross this. You are not to do this. And that is it. So number two thing here is friend formation, friendship, friend formation. You know, you come to campus, of course, you want to make new friends, you want to move around with people, you know, you want to, to fear along, you want to fear along, you want to, uh, to, to follow, you understand, you want to get new friends, you want to mingle around people. These people can either make you or mar you, that's the simple truth. Friendship can either make you or mar you. So you should watch out for people that are straight-headed, people that actually know what they want, People that have come to university to also learn, you know. Of course, they, you, if you want any kind of friends, you get them. Friends that are just party, party, party. You can get those friends. And friends that are serious with academics. Depends on where you want to land, you know. But I advise you to choose friends that know their destination. Friends that are serious even with their academics. Because, of course, you cannot be better off than your company. You understand? That is the truth. It's in books, it's everywhere, it's written everywhere. It's, it's a long age truth that you cannot be better than your company. As a matter of fact, Sam Ademi says something in one of his books. He said, if you want to be a billionaire, then you should find yourself around billionaires. If there are three billionaires and you are there, it means you will be the next billionaire. So if you have friends and, and all of them are carrying over, you know, they are not excelling academically, it means you can you will also be carrying over. But if you have friends that are first-class students, you are the next first-class student. So make good friends. The third thing here is clubs and groups on campus. 
Campus is a very destructive place. When you get to campus, you discover that there are so many activities. Everybody is busy doing something. There are clubs left and right. There are activities left and right. You know, you just have to join one. That's the truth. I advise you to join a club. I advise you to join a group on campus. But make sure the group you are joining, their values are good. They have good morals. They have good values that are following. For instance, now for clubs, we have so much clubs around. We have clubs like uh, the, the Rutera uh, Club that helped in fighting polio, you know. And several other camp, uh, clubs on campus, you know, we have some clubs dedicated to sports. We have some clubs dedicated to, uh, to business, entrepreneurship. We have some uh, 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 clubs dedicated to academic excellence, you know. And then groups, we have even fellowship groups understand for christians you have fcs you have knifes you have uh, su scripture union and for the muslims you have mcm ssn you know muslim student uh, society of nigeria is there and then you have several other uh, campus groups and fellowship i will advise you to join one because it is very very important this shapes your values this shapes your morals this help you to have a good landing and they are, most of them can be very welcoming. They will give you a warm reception and show you what you have to do on campus. So the fourth kind of thing I want you to take note before getting to the university is your relationship with fellow students. Your relationship with fellow students is very important. You can't do without friendship. You can't do without your fellow mates, your fellow uh, lecture mates, course mates. Because as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, uh, the last thing is my experience. I'm going to share my experience with you how how this affected me. You know, you cannot be an island of knowledge. You need each other to 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 excel. You need each other the knowledge of another mate. You understand? Something I've been taught in class. You, there's someone that knew it better than you did. If you didn't understand it, meet the person to teach you. you understand? Meet the person to teach you. That is going to help you. So have a good relationship with your fellow students. Do not look down on anybody. You know, sometimes when you come on campus new, you want to show yourself, you know, you are like, I graduated from this King's College, Lagos, from, uh, I, I'm, I'm a graduate. I just I graduated from, uh, my secondary school was uh, a school for the gifted, Abuja. You know, most of these schools, Excel Grace, Academy, you know, Kavararo Secondary School. These are big schools that have, have created a lot of history. They have had students representing in, in international and, and and uh, competitions you know so coming from such schools it could be like you raise yourself up and you look down on others but i mean this can bite you back you know this can be dangerous this can be very dangerous this can affect you it will have a stain on your academics so have a good working relationship with your mates such that you can ask them anything at any time and they'll be willing to answer you so the fifth thing to note is your relationship with lecturers this can never be overemphasized. Over Relationships with lecturers is very important. Lecturers, I mean, your lecturers are your friends. Start with your level advisor. Your level advisor is the first contact person, a lecturer you meet on campus. He's like a father, a counselor to you, your first uh, a place of, uh, of contact. You know, if anything goes wrong with you on campus, your level advisor is the first person to know. So start with your level advisor. Have a good working relationship with your level advisor and have a good working relationship with your lecturers. That will save you a lot of stress. If you get into the university, please take note of this and you are going to thank me later. All right, so the sixth point, which is my experience, I'm going to be sharing my experience with you for some few minutes. I came on campus in 2018. Uh, 2018 March 2019 and then I started 100 level and I was so much working alone like an island I was alone not not having any working relationship with my my, my mates my colleague my my course mate. and this actually affected me after my first semester especially when the the result came out you know the first semester result came out I saw myself not having a good grade as I intended. Although it was good, but it was not the way I wanted. And this was because of 
a bad relationship with my colleagues so uh, that is why i i am sharing this with you so that you may not have the same experiences like i did because these experiences are not really cool if you experience them yourself so it's better to learn from uh, others that have suffered this kind of uh, thing so my experience was that i had a bad score because i i did not apply most of these things here i don't have good relationship with my my colleagues and you know i was i did not form friends i did not have any friends that and some people did this and it helped them you know they bonded in 100 level they had good friends that were reading together you know and, and answering questions asking questions and it helped them and i was there all alone doing the whole work myself reading myself staying away from people and this actually affected me so are you intending to enter the university have you got admission to enter the university are you even an, a, a, a university student undergraduate this is key this is key this is what you should know as a university student this is going to save you from a lot of stress so uh so this is brought to you by right resource group and we stand for excellence our values are excellence integrity and punctuality so this video is brought to you by right resource group and we have a youtube channel where we post tutorial videos of all undergraduate courses especially mathematics physics chemistry and computer so the description in this video the, the the description to this video has the link to our youtube channel attached to it please follow that youtube channel and subscribe to our youtube channel for quality tutorials we are out to reduce academic failure to zero percent and this is part of what we do this is going to set you on the solid ground for achieving academic excellence in any university any tertiary institution of your choice thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.